Hi everyone and welcome. We're back in my garden today and we're going to deal with replacing the bamboo that's holding up a couple of my tomato plants with tomato hooks. So you can see there's a couple tomato clips that are uh, in use right now for attaching the tomato plant to this piece of bamboo to keep it upright. But the plant is getting pretty large and there's another one back there using a piece of bamboo to hold it up. But I think it's time to switch over to the, uh, the system that I normally use. And now that I've got the overhead support system in place, I believe it's time to make the move. So I'm just going to introduce really quickly how I support my tomato plants. And it's a fairly straightforward homespun method. And what I use for this is your plain old everyday clothes hanger. Straightening the whole thing out. I uh, get rid of the hook on the end. And then I start removing all of the, the little bends in it. And then I almost end up with a big huge loop if you will and then um and then what i do is i try to straighten it out to the best of my ability and then the first thing i do is on the very end of it i create the hook that i um that i hang it with from the overhead trellis and the next thing i do is i create the little this little spool section where i where i can wind up the the supply of string that's going to be on here because what drops down to the tomato at certain times I'm going to want to unwind a little bit more so that I've got extra line that I could use to support the tomato as it grows longer and longer. So to do that, I create sort of a little, um, I don't know if you've ever been on the, on the docks when you go out to the um, marina or down to the waterfront, there's uh, those little cleats on the, on the deck for attaching your lines to. So. If you've been to the docks and you know what I'm talking about, then you'll recognize it right away. It's a little bit of a cleat looking shape. And all I do is I use that as the place to wrap the, uh, the line onto. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut a length of a uh, line out of this here. I usually just grab about two arm lengths and um, I don't do anything overly fancy to attach it. Usually I just use sort of a simple uh, a knot. I usually put the knot up onto the top section of it like so, so that if at some point it's just hanging from this one, then it's at the higher point. And then I just go ahead and I start wrapping on a certain amount as reserve. So um, this is my basic solution for supporting the tomato. So here's the plant. So directly overhead, so now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to detach the clip from the bamboo that's holding the plant up and now there's nothing holding the plant so I need to be careful not to drop it. And now I'm going to take the twine that's in my hand and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping it around the vine to sort of give it a couple wraps and um, I try to stay away from every one of these little stems that's growing fruit so I'll usually try to wrap it and um, and turn it underneath where there's a, a leaf growing like so and I'll do a couple of those turns and bring it down to a, a good sturdy section like down here underneath this couple of um, large leaves and then um, and then what you have in this clip, the clip has this little uh, hinge. In the hinge section is a little clamp that holds on to the string. So not only is this going around the plant to hold it, but it's also grabbing the string at the point where you attach it. So here, number one is to make sure that the string is in the little hinge right in the middle where the clamp is going to grab it and then close the clip down on to the plant like so. So now the plant is supported by the string from overhead. So this, um, this piece of wood here 
is no longer needed to hold the plant upright. Okay, so here on the top, I'll usually make sure that the plant is um, wrapped nicely around the, the support string and that, it, uh, that it's being held upright. And um, now you'll also notice I've got another fairly significant main stem here that I'm gonna use a second string to support. And then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna prune this bush because um, it is getting bushy at this point because I really want it to be a two stem plant. So all of these little side shoots that come out from the, from the base of each of these leaves, um, there's not many of them, but like here's one, a pretty significant one. Here's a pretty small one that you can see just starting. These side shoots are commonly known by gardeners as suckers, and in most cases you want to do away with them. But in, um, in the case of this one, for example, this one was looking like a pretty major sucker, like a pretty major side shoot that was growing about as large as the main stem of the plant. So I decided I'm going to keep that one. And uh, since it's growing pretty much as vigorously as the main stem, and since it's got already a nice, um, a nice little stem with some flowers that's going to produce fruit on it, I think we're off to a good start. If it was going to look like a dud and it wasn't going to produce fruit, then I would, ha I would hack it off just like any other sucker. But um, that seems to be a pretty good indication that this should be a pretty good, uh, a good fruitful uh, sucker, a good side shoot to keep around. Here's the next one with the flowers coming out. So let me get another uh, tomato hook and another piece of string, and I'm going to support this one uh, up a second string so it's supported properly, and then I'm going to get back here with the pruner and prune off all the side shoots and suckers. And it's simple as that there's nothing to it so once you've already attached it you can come back like I did earlier and make sure you've got a couple nice wraps on it to make sure the stem is supported nicely all the way up and now you've got the entire plant supported up two strings and basically it's those main stems that are leading up each of those strings that are the ones you're going to want to maintain and you're going to want to knock off all of the additional suckers if you like to prune the way I do and try to prune with usually what might be considered as a single stem pruning method or in this case something similar where you prune up two stems. Some of the, some of the little pr suckers like this one here at the base of this leaf, it's tiny. It's really, really tiny. So it's pretty straightforward to just, li li you know, break it off with your fingers. And, you know, in other cases they're, they're a little bit larger. But in the case of this one here too, it's still pretty easy to just snap them off. They come right off like so. Um, and it's only when they start to grow, maybe a little bit bigger. Even here, I think snapping it off by hand should work. But at some point, if it grows pretty big and you want to make sure that you're not going to cause any damage to the main stem, sometimes you just chop it off using your pruner. And then here's another tiny one you could just take off by hand. So. Um, this is pretty much what I do to keep my tomato plants in check and um, in the past I've tried single stem pruning where the plant went up only one main stem and every sucker every side shoot was lopped off but um, when I see a plant that's got a good vigorously growing side shoot like this one um, usually I'll support it as two main stems going up two separate strings and um, and then you get twice as much fruit. Now, want to keep in mind, this is for plants that are classified as indeterminate. So by indeterminate, that's a plant that will just continue to grow and grow um, as long as there's sunshine and water and everything else. The other type of plant, the other type of tomato plant is the determinant, which means it's already got like a predetermined um, size that it's going to grow to and once it grows to that size it's going to put out fruit and that's that so that's the um, that's a different type of plant which you might not want to prune in this fashion this is more for the vine type uh, indeterminate tomatoes the determinant type plants most people would want to just let those grow and grow on their own so all right well 
I think I'm just gonna go grab the hose and give these plants a little bit of water now, but I just wanted to get my uh, my first set of tomato hooks up onto the trellis and it's easy to do. Might wanna give it a try. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. Definitely give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider signing up to be a subscriber to the channel. That's always appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Bye now.